Hi everyone, it's Linda and I have another recipe. I just got through doing one video. I'm going to do another one real quick. And uh, this one, um, I'm, I'm going to show you the little um, uh, cozy I made. This is a friendship one and it talks all about friendship. And it says, you know, made with love, friendship, uh, uh, recipe for friendship. Anyway, it's one of my favorite patterns. And, uh, and then the inside of it is the little black and white polka dots. This is a Ninja uh, two cup pint size Ninja Creamy Cozy. I also make these in a three uh, cup for the deluxe. But uh, the recipe I'm gonna do today, I'm just showing you these, because uh, everybody always asks me all about them. Um, I'm gonna make is with my double chocolate ice cream. Now this is sugar free and it has 30 grams of protein in it. And um, it's, it's my favorite. I have two favorite recipes out of the 30 or more I have on my website. Uh, but it's so cool because you can take these two bases, the uh, cheesecake vanilla or the double chocolate. You can add all the other kinds of uh, flavors as a mix in and stuff and create stuff real easy. I make these in a batch. So even on my website, I have them in a, uh, there's two different recipes. So like in the chocolate, it'll show a 10 cup which makes five point uh, five pints and because I like to make a bunch of my ninja creamies and freeze them and then when I want to make something I just take them out and I sometimes I eat them without other things but most of the time I'll do some kind of fun mix in to just to stir up the flavor a little bit so the one I'm going to do today which is just in time for Valentine's Day <clears throat> is I've got some fresh raspberries here sorry my allergies been kicking up having a hard time talking almost um, so I took one of my double chocolates out of the freezer. I ran it under the water, hot water with the lid on it for just a, a few seconds so I can get the lid off because the freeze is so good. I always put mine in the microwave for 30 seconds. I've done this uh, for almost a year now. This works the best for me and it helps keep it from being so icy and I think it's better for my machine. So I just took it out of the microwave after 30 seconds. Now I'm going to put it in the Ninja Creamy I'm going to put it on light ice cream and I'm going to spin it. While it's spinning, uh, I'll just tell you this now because when I made the last one, I, it started melting while I was talking. I'm going to make a um, chocolate, uh, I'm going to melt some chocolate chips to put some chocolate flakes that go inside. So when you get through spinning this and before you do your mix in, uh, if you melt the chocolate chips, you do a little hole in the middle. You pour a little bit of the, uh, the melted chocolate chips into it and cover it up with a little bit of ice cream. Then when it does the mix in, it, um, it makes it into little flakes inside. Sometimes it'll be bigger chunks. I think it's just the way I, I smooth the ice cream over afterwards, but either way, it tastes really good. But this one's gonna have raspberries with it also. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take um, Lily's sugar-free dark chocolate chips if you count out 30 of them, it's two WW points. These are sugar free. Or if you get these little mix in, uh, I mean these little uh, uh, measuring cups, like this one's a quarter a cup. Um, two cups is right there. And uh, not two cups, that's not right. Um, two tablespoons, which is a quarter of a cup. And so I'm gonna pour that in here. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for one minute. I'm gonna let this start melting while this is spinning. Uh, so I don't melt this down too fast. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm melting the chocolate chips. So I've got the ice cream. This is the double chocolate. Putting it in my Ninja Creamy. I'm not gonna turn it on because I know it'll drive you crazy. But all this crazy stuff makes the best ice cream, doesn't it? So then I'm gonna hit uh, the soft, not soft, but the light ice cream and I'll be right back. Okay, this finished and also the chocolate uh, the, uh, the dark chocolate chips are all melted. Move my pretties over. So now I'm going to open this up. And um, this is the double chocolate. It kind of spun way down here, which is okay. This one wasn't as full. And this one's thicker, but I don't need to do a respin. You can if you want, because if I showed it to you, it'll just end up spilling. But, but anyway, it's pretty thick. And so. That's good because the chocolate chips are hot. So I'm just kind of scooping a little bottom, a uh, little hole down here towards the bottom and I'm gonna put the chocolate chips in. Okay, so I've got a hole down here in the middle and what I'm gonna do next 
is I'm going to add some raspberries. I've got a cup here of fresh raspberries. Uh, I just bought a package and that's how many they, they were. I rinsed them all and I'm going to put like a handful down in there just to give it a raspberry flavor. And then I'm going to, I melted the chocolate chips and then I added a teaspoon of raspberry sugar-free syrup with it. And then as it set, it started to, instead of being real runny, like it started to thicken up. But that's okay because I'm going to put this now on top of the raspberries. And it looks kind of crumbly like, but very cool. And um, then I'm going to scoop some of the ice cream over the top of it. And then it's going to go back in the Ninja Creamy as a mix-in. And this should mix the chocolate uh, chips that are melted all around into this with the raspberries and give us some chocolate flakes mixed in with, with raspberries. And this is going to be so good. I also, I usually scrape down my sides and I didn't do that first. Um, so I, I'm going to scrape my sides down too because i got a lot of stuff in here. And so I'm going to put the lid back on this. Got the raspberries in there. I've got the Lily sugar-free chocolate chips that are melted with a teaspoon of sugar-free raspberry syrup mixed in with the um, melted chips. And get this back on. Now I'm going to put this in. I'll mix in and I'll be right back. Okay, I just took the ice cream out of the Ninja Creamy. Oh, this looks really good. It's got nice chunks of chocolate in it. Let's see if I can show you. It's very thick. Maybe I can try to zoom in a little bit here. Okay, I took the chocolate chips out of the microwave and they were, uh, it was only one tablespoon and they were really thick. When you started stirring them, they were like really, you know, not really melted. And then I added a tablespoon of the sugar-free uh, raspberry syrup to the chocolate chips and just kept stirring it and stirring it. And now it's a nice little consistency here, uh, just right for drizzling on top of, ra of the raspberries. Because I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in my cute little cozy here. There's the one side there that says the friendship, you can see. And so I'm gonna put that in there. I'm going to take the rest of my strawberries and I'm just, I was going to add them to the top, but I think I might uh, add whipped cream, but you know what, we'll just add some whipped cream on top. So I've got the raspberries here, my hands are nice and clean, so I'm just going to kind of take my fingers, kind of break them up a little bit and put them on top. You don't have to break them up if you want to just eat them whole. And I'm going to kind of put those on top, they look real cute. And then I'm going to, um, I think what I might do then is add a little bit of fat free cold whip and then I'm gonna layer it and it'll look really cool. Stay tuned, just one moment. Okay, my friends at Weight Watchers always tell me uh, when I do my recipes, they like it because I'm always keeping it real, keeping it real. So I'm keeping it real, showing you kind of how I do things while my brain starts thinking. I put the raspberries you see that on top of the, the chocolate raspberry ice cream. Now I'm going to take and add some fat-free Cool Whip. I keep this on hand all the time, kind of like a little cloud in the middle. You can actually do five tablespoons and it's only one point of uh, the Cool Whip. So I'm going to do a couple really big ones here. Put that aside. I'm going to take the rest of my raspberries, kind of layering this, put some of these all on the top. Now when I'm, I'm going to um, drizzle the chocolate syrup on top, it, it's going to probably melt this down right away. But you know what? When it melts it down into the ice cream and then you go to eat the ice cream and stir it, it tastes so good. So don't let that scare you. Uh, let me show you what it looks like right now. Let me see if, if I can. Okay, this is what it looks like with the raspberries on top of the fat free Cool Whip, on top of the chocolate. Okay, so I have the uh, double chocolate ice cream with the raspberries inside of it, along with uh, uh, sugar-free chocolate chips and a little bit of the raspberry sugar-free syrup that was mixed in with the raspberries that went into the ice cream. Then I topped it with a couple of tablespoons of fat-free Cool Whip and I put some more raspberries on top. 
I melted a tablespoon of the Lily sugar-free dark chocolate chips and um, then when they came out they're very thick and I wanted more uh, I wanted it a little thinner and I wanted a, the raspberry flavor to sweeten this all up so I added a tablespoon of the sugar-free raspberry syrup and now it's just really nice consistency and you don't want to pour it on right away because it's so hot now it's kind of warm so I'll just drizzle so it's thickening up a little bit but I'm just going to kind of drizzle it around a little bit on top of the raspberries and um, I kind of mainly want to get it on the raspberries because the raspberries you know they're not as sweet as everything else here and um, so and then I'll show you what I'm going to do because I've just about got it all done here and I don't want to keep you on this while I'm being so meticulous here. Okay, that didn't take very long. When you have the ice creams already made up in advance, like I make uh, bulk, I'll make like five of these at a time. And um, like I said, I have the recipe where you can make five, five pints at a time. So it's 10 cups. And then I always have something in the freezer when I want to make something really cool like this. I just throw a few things with it. And then I have this real decadent uh, decadent dessert and uh, low Weight Watchers points with the chocolate chips the the chocolate ice cream is two points and at 30 grams of protein and then the chocolate chips were two points that I added inside and then one point for the chocolate chip uh, drizzle the raspberry syrup was zero and the raspberries were zero so this total two cup dessert with all this chocolate and everything in it is only five points if you can see this I'm going to try to see and tastes so good I already had a sneak taste of it if you want to um, add a little more you can like I said I've got these little Valentine sprinkles they have little hearts just to make it a little more festive if you're if you're having people over or friends or whatever and you can sprinkle some of those on the top and uh, and then that's how it looks Let's see if I can zoom in on it and it tastes so good and it looks so cute in my little cozy here like I said, everything I sell on Etsy, it's because it's something I've made when I'm cooking that I'll say, oh, I need something that will help me with this recipe or that. It has to look cute, but it has to be functional. These are all machine washable. And um, I know many of you guys have bought them. I'm so busy for Christmas, but it's wonderful. I like blessing other people. And I hope this has been a blessing to you. And I hope you have a very blessed day. I've got, um, tonight I have Weight Watchers. I, I still go every week. I've lost 80 pounds of Weight Watchers, kept it off for five years now. I still go every week and because um, I really do love it. I like being with other people. I love sharing my journey and how it's a continual journey and never stops. But look at all these good things you learn along the way that you can eat and really enjoy life and never be deprived. That's what I really like about it. And um, I, I retired five years ago this month and I started a YouTube channel uh, just because my family said, you need to do a YouTube channel because I was making all these healthy Weight Watchers recipes. So I started doing it. Now I have like close to 100 recipes on there. And uh, then I got the Ninja Creamy a year ago and it just changed everything, I tell you. I've just my Etsy shop I've had for three years is just been exploding with orders for these cute ninja creamy cozies and um, you can also use them just as another point like when my grandkids over and I have the little mac and cheese you can put that in there the microwavable put in the microwave because this is 100% microwavable or your little cups of soup and stuff so they're for many other functions what I like um, oh good old Amazon there what I like also is I'm going to give these, I have friends that have a Ninja Creamy as a gift. I went to the dollar store and I just bought some little flowers and a little this and look how cute that looks. So I just stuck this down inside of it and it'll be like a little Valentine gift or something. And then they can use it afterwards with their Ninja Creamy ice creams. And I put a little Valentine card on it. I have these little stickers too that I bought to go on and uh, just spreading a little love and it doesn't cost a lot of money. I got a lot of really cute things and some little candy and stuff like that to, to put candy in them. I'll show you on the pictures that I'm going to add to the video of different things I did with my cozies as well as the ice cream is, is the very best of course. You have a wonderful day. God bless you. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to do more videos this next year. That's going to kind of be my goal and um, 
I'll see you again soon. And thank you again for your business, for your support, and for all the kind comments that I get from you guys. And have a wonderful day. Stay tuned. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And you'll see all the links at the end. Okay, anybody that's watched my videos by now know I always have like one last thing. Or, oh, I forgot one more thing I was going to add. As soon as I took a bite of this, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. I thought the cheesecake vanilla strawberry chocolate flake one was good. This is so good. And so I just wanted to share that with you. That uh, this is just divine. And the ice cream is just perfect. Enjoy.